The reveal of the young and the restless, Sharon has made one last decision in her life. She wants to meet Ray and get it over with. Is it a divorce proposal? Ray is a good cop, much love in Genoa. He works responsibly, helping many others, but in love, he has no luck. He is betrayed by Mia, sleep with his younger brother, and becomes pregnant. It is unacceptable humiliation. He pursues Sharon for many years, finally getting her to marry him, but realizes this is just a pity. Not out of love. When she returned, she openly admitted that she went to see Adam. You can see the look of disgust and betrayal on Ray's face. Why is this Ray so hated by Sharon? Is it a different personality? Want to take revenge on Adam? But don't blame him either. Slap every man who gets jealous when he sees his wife kissing another man. Ray is ready for a divorce proposal. Is he just waiting for Sharon to say it? After returning from Miami, he feels Sharon's cold heart. They are together but have no feelings. What will happen for Ray to finally leave this woman? She continues to be unreliable and goes against everything Ray has asked of her. Ray has to throw this marriage away. He's young. He can find another young woman who can bring him happiness, give him a child, which Sharon can no longer do. Then his life will become happier. Sharon is so cruel, she treats Ray like a stranger. I love for Ray to just tell her and file for divorce. I hope one day Sharon will go to work and have an envelope waiting for her with paperwork inside. Ray was added to Genoa as a replacement for Paul, but his role is primarily about finding a love, not being a cop. He might call an error addition. That's why a lot of people want the producer to bring Paul back. Sure, she's free to do whatever she wants, but that doesn't mean Ray has to like it, and he clearly doesn't. He'd ask all sorts of things and had gone a long way with the pranks for far too long, but down the divorce hammer Ray. Ray and Sharon divorced. Now is the best time for them to do it. It is not necessary to be together to cause each other suffering. Sharon feels jealous when she sees Adam and Sally together. Sally and Sharon promise a love war. Sharon has lost Adam because of hesitation, and now she wants to get it back. No big deal. But maybe inside the lights crimson a little back and forth, and Sally tells Sharon that she, the married woman, should come back. Now Sally is taking advantage. She has won Adam's love. Sharon is hated by Adam and does not want to meet. Of course, it wasn't like that would ever happen. And even if it did, Sharon would be sneaking off to visit Adam whenever she could manage.